Bounce Kogals is a 1997 uh, crime drama f uh, Japanese film. I heard about this one from Mina's channel. She does uh, videos about fashion. And she mentioned this movie along with uh, Kill Bill because of Gogo Yubari and where the schoolgirl fetishization uh, comes from. So this film was mentioned, so I wanted to check it out. I was able to find it with English subtitles. But it's basically about three um, high school girls who are involved in, in uh, schoolgirl prostitution. So it's a very uh, icky subject that explores the certain underbelly of Japan, uh, the culture of it. Um, there's some Yakuza thrown in there too. There's multiple stories. Um, overall, the movie's a little unfocused. Uh, the one girl wants to leave to New York. That's why she's trying to make money. The other two are trying to back her up. There's also this one guy that keeps stalking one of the girls named Lisa. And he keeps saying that he wants to like make her a star because he's like a talent guy. And I guess the, the number one theme about this movie is that there are people out there that will use you up if they can. They'll exploit you. It's a sort of dog-eat-dog -dog world where you can, you know, sell yourself or you can let someone else do it for you and, you know, there's money to be made in, in a very seedy sort of subject because there are, you know, the girls that do the karaoke with men for money, then there's ones that do the phone calls because they're lonely, and there's the ones that just, you know, do sex stuff, and then there's, you know, uh, paid dates of sorts. So they explore d different aspects. They also explore, like, videos and uh, used panties. I think that's still a thing in Japan where, like, you can just buy used schoolgirl panties. It's a very icky subject. The movie's pretty long. It's like an hour 45 minutes and uh, it's not too focused on any of the one characters, but I liked the sort of uh, interesting topics that get explored in the movie. There's also a really brutal thing that happens to one of the other girls at the end that's really interesting too. But uh, Bounce Cool Gals, a little bit unfocused, but I still got, you know, it's, it's supposed to be like a coming of age sort of, it, it actually doesn't really know what it wants to be. It's not really a coming of age story. It's not really a hard-boiled crime thriller. It's not really a exploration of the, the sexual industry in 1997 in Japan. So if it was a little bit more tighter in terms of like themes and plot, then maybe I would have given a higher score. So I give Bounce Cold Gals a 5 out of 10.